Lord be with you. Good morning. My name is Leslie Poss. I'm Director of Music with Worship Arts and Christian Formation. Celebrating Christ's universal love, Grace Presbyterian seeks to do justice, embrace kindness, and walk humbly with God. We welcome all who are worshiping with us today. Our in-house guests are invited to complete a guest card and leave it in the offering plate. And online worshipers, we would love to hear from you. Send us a Facebook mess, a greeting or uh, a message if you have a prayer request, maybe. And remember, every Sunday we receive communion. So have juice and bread available, and together we will see receive bread and cup. So stop for just a moment. What do you notice? For me, there is this palpable energy and joy and excitement and Oh my goodness, surrounding the opening of Table of Grace. This week we received our certificate of occupancy and the keys to the building. That's, that's a big deal. Yesterday, nine adults and four youth traveled to all the way up to Walker County Line almost and picked up four church pews that will be used in the entryway to Table of Grace. And this morning, it was so exciting to see many people, all ages, with helping with, um, where did I just lost my line, <laughs> uh, pre uh, with prepping for our final parking lot distribution and moving some equipment over. And this Saturday, from 9 till noon, is a y'all come work day to pack the rest of the uh, food that's left there to load it and all the equipment and move from loaves and fishes to table of grace. We could really use large trailers, pickup trucks, uh, hand trucks, anything you've got to help us to move that over. Our vision task force and our building group, food pantry, mission, peace and justice, communications uh, committees along with finance and, and session and so many others have been working around the clock to ensure we are moved and ready to open in October and preparing all the necessary communication publicity pieces. By the way, communication would be grateful for any extra volunteers who would like to help with social media, press release, press kit, and press conference. You notice a theme there. Uh, and other details. You may speak with Chris Stone, Mike Altman, or myself if you are interested and willing. And today, we have an insert, again, for Table of Grace volunteers, going from one day a month distribution to opening Table of Grace three days a week of each month is going to require many volunteers. So please use this insert, um, go to the QR code or there's an email address, and please uh, volunteer and share this information with family, friends, coworkers, community, connections, and we would be really grateful. Do you see uh, your centering words this morning in this service of scripture and prayer and poetry? Elizabeth Barrett Browning wrote, Earth's crammed with heaven and every common bush of fire with God but only he who sees takes off his shoes. The rest sit around and pluck blackberries. Let us worship God. This place for us is holy ground. God invites us as God invited Moses. God says, take off your sandals, fill the earth beneath your feet, the living room rug, the patio stone, the kitchen tiles. Wherever you are is holy ground. Wherever we are, God is. Let us not pass up this moment to recognize 
the presence of God. Let us worship God together. <clears throat> Please join me in the prayer. Mysterious, perplexing God, we do not always understand you or what you ask of us, but in your presence there is something that entices us, that comforts us, that challenges us toward the world we desire. Though you inevitably call us toward the risky and unfamiliar, may we not let our fears deter us. May curiosity and openness be our practices for faith. Amen. us from unusual places, as God called to Moses from a burning bush. 
let us acknowledge the ways we close ourselves to God. I invite you to pray the prayer of confession together. God, we are sorry for the times we walked away when you called to us. We regret that we were not curious enough to wonder if it was you. We wish we had taken the time to remove our shoes and join you in your holy space. For those missed opportunities, forgive us. Call to us again, God, and in your mercy, wait for us. God's mercy extends beyond the bounds of our imagination. God's love seeps through any wall we could ever build. God's goodness holds more power than the sum of all sins. It's because of that extensive, seeping, powerful, and bold love, I declare to you that God forgives all of our sins. Thank Thanks be, be to God. God. Having been reconciled with God, let us be reconciled with one another. The peace of Christ be with you. And also with you. Let us share signs of Christ's peace.
and it's like a grocery store almost, and they can pick, I really like green beans, or I like cherries, or I like pizza. Pizza, I don't know pizza will be good, but they get to pick. Get pizza, that is not good. Okay. Well, and so that's the great, that's the great thing. They get to choose what they want to eat. So that's a real plus. And the second thing is hopefully there will be less waste of food because if they're not going to eat it, it, it might just get thrown away. Or hopefully it's shared with somebody else. But uh, here's the wonderful thing. Uh, another wonderful thing is that there is a huge walk-in, um, what's the term? Freezer. 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 freezer? Is it a freezer or a oh, freezer? So walk in. So we have um, space. We have much more space, but we also have better capacity to for foods that we can keep for long periods of time and hopefully have foods that people like to eat. Yes, dear. Please join me in the prayer of illumination. Living God, help us take the time we need to turn aside and hear your word. May it be as a fire to our soul, warming us, energizing us to be your liberating people. Amen. Okay. Our first scripture is from Exodus chapter 3, verses 1 through 15. Moses was taking care of the flock for his father-in-law, Jethro, Midian's priest. He led his flock out to the edge of the desert, and he came to God's mountain called Horeb. The Lord's messenger appeared to him in a flame of fire in the middle of a bush. Moses saw that the bush was in flames, but it didn't burn up. Then Moses said to himself, Let me check out this amazing sight and find out why the bush isn't burning up. When the Lord saw that he was coming to look, God called to him out of the burning bush. Moses! Moses! I'm here. Don't come any closer. Take off your sandals because you are standing on holy ground. I am the God of your father, Abraham's God, Isaac's God, and Jacob's God. Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. I've clearly seen my people oppressed in Egypt. 
I've heard their cry of injustice because of their slave masters. I know about their pain. I've come down to rescue them from the Egyptians in order to take them out of the land and bring them to a good and broad land, a land that is full of milk and honey, a place where the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hevites, and the Jebusites all live. Now the Israelites' cries of injustice have reached me. I've seen just how much the Egyptians have oppressed them. So, get going. I'm sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. Who am I to go to Pharaoh and to bring the Israelites out of Egypt? I'll be with you, and this will show you that I am the one who sent you. After you bring the people of, out of Egypt, you will come back here and worship God on this mountain. If I now come to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your ancestors has sent me to you, they are going to ask me, what's this God's name? What am I supposed to say to them? I am who I am. So say to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. Say to the Israelites, the Lord, the God of your ancestors, Abraham's God, Isaac's God, and Jacob's God has sent me to you. This is my name forever. This is how all generations will remember me. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Our next reading is You Are a Fire Always Burning by Catherine of Siena. You are a fire always burning, but never consuming. You are a fire consuming in your heat all the soul's selfish love. You are a fire lighting all chill and giving light. In your light, you have made me know your truth. You are the light beyond all light who gives the mind's eye supernatural light and such fullness and perfection that you bring clarity even to the light of faith. In that faith, I see that my soul has life, and in that light receives you who are light.
And now the second scripture reading, Romans 12, 9 through 21 from the message. <clears throat> Love from the center of who you are. Don't fake it. Run for dear life from evil. Hold on for dear life to good. Be good friends who love deeply. Practice playing second fiddle. Don't burn out. Keep yourselves fueled and aflame. Be alert servants of the master, cheerfully expectant. Don't quit in hard times. Pray all the harder. Help needy Christians. Be inventive in hospitality. Bless your enemies. No cursing under your breath. Laugh with your happy friends when they're happy and share tears when they're down. Get along with each other. Don't be stuck up. Make friends with nobodies. Don't be the great somebody. Don't hit back. Discover beauty in everyone. If you've got it in you, get along with everybody. Don't insist on getting even. That's not for you to do. I'll do the judging, says God. I'll take care of it. Our scriptures tell us that if you see your enemy hungry, go buy that person lunch. Or if he's thirsty, get him a drink. Your generosity will surprise him with goodness. Don't let evil get the best of you. Get the best of evil by doing good. The word of, the Lord, the word of God for the people of God. And next, uh, the, from the commencement speech at Marquette University, in 2001 by Reverend Fred Rogers. I wonder if you've heard what happened at the Seattle Special Olympics a few years ago. For the 100-yard dash, there were nine contestants, all of them so-called physically or mentally disabled. All nine of them assembled at the starting line, and at the sound of the gun, they took off. But one little boy stumbled and fell and hurt his knee and began to cry. The other eight children heard the boy crying. They slowed down, turned around, and saw the boy and ran back to him. Every one of them ran back to him. One little girl with Down syndrome bent down and kissed the boy and said, this will make it better. The little boy got up, and he and the rest of the runners linked their arms together and joyfully walked across the finish line. They all finished the race at the same time, and when they did, everyone in the stadium stood up and clapped and whistled and cheered for a long, long time. People who were there still are telling the story with obvious delight. And you know why? Because deep down, we know that what matters in this life is much more than winning ourselves. What really matters is helping others win too even if it means slowing down and changing our course now and then. Now, a reading from Psalms, uh, chapter 105, verses 1 through 6. Come, offer thanks to the Eternal. 
invoke God's holy name, tell other people about the things they have done, sing songs of praise to God, tell stories of all their miracles, revel in Yahweh's holy name. May the hearts of the people who seek the eternal celebrate and experience great joy. Seek the eternal and God's power. Look to God's face constantly. Remember the wonderful things God has done, their miracles and the wise decisions God has made. O children of Abraham, servants of God, O children of Jacob, God's chosen people. And now a poem by Robinson Jeffers, Praise Life. Praise life, this country least, but every inhabited country, is clotted with human anguish. Remember that at your feasts. And this is no new thing, but from time out of mind, no transient thing, but exactly, countermenace with human life. Praise life, it deserves praise, but the praise of life that forgets the pain is a pebble, rattled in a dry gourd.
to stand as we affirm our faith together. We believe in the mystery of God, who hovered over the waters of creation, who dined at Abraham and Sarah's tent, who wrestled, wounded, and renamed Jacob, who called to Moses from a burning bush. We believe in the mystery of God, who walked this earth in the form of a homeless rabbi, to comfort and to disrupt us, to heal and to wound us, to shock us with the breath of limitless grace. We believe in the mystery of God, who comes to us in wind and flame, water, bread, and wine. We believe in the mystery of God, who continues to be made known in the stunning and beautiful souls who surround us, who practice holiness for the sake of be seated. We come to share our prayers and concerns, our thanksgivings, to, if you will look at the back of the bulletin, you will see many that are, that are there. Um, we do offer our sympathy to Rob Spencer this week. His sister Susie passed away and praying for their family. Praying for Marilyn Mancini, who gave um, a lengthy update to us this week, and coming up is going to be a bone marrow transplant that will happen September the 12th, and so she's praying for the preparation and all that will be involved. She's still at this moment in Wyoming, but will be traveling to Tuscaloosa soon. Praying for Louise Reynolds, who will soon have surgery for Connie Miles, who remains in ICU at DCH. Um, for Kathy Brewer Strayer, for Mary Gregg, Angela Chandler, Craig Shelby, Bob DeWitt's friend, Linda Roberts, Susan Goddard, as you see the many that are listed there. And to that, I want to add, um, I received an email just before walking into the sanctuary Kathy Merrill, um, their son, um, they have a new baby. Uh, and so was born yesterday. Uh, mom is doing well, baby is doing great, and they are very excited. So I'm sure we will be uh, receiving more information and probably some photos from, uh, from that. What uh, prayer concerns would you like to lift or thank prayers of Thanksgiving? What is on your heart this day? Yes, Annabelle. My cat is having um, some breathing difficulty, and I think it's not the breathing so much as it's the heart. The numbing is actually going on his head, but they're afraid to make the heart bad. Okay. And her doctor is out of town, and she's Oh, goodness. Okay. So Annabelle's wife, Pat, having some breathing issues, concerned that it, it might be heart-related, but it will be Tuesday before her doctor will be back in town. Are there others? But, but, yes. Yes, Paula, yes. Who was that? So Dale, what's the last name? Lane. Lane, I'm sorry, I was just having trouble hearing. Um, so Dale Lane would, will be making some uh, journeying back to Tuscaloosa and just praying for him in the, the need that is unknown at this time. Are there others? Do pray, continue to pray for our country, for there's so many, um, natural disasters that are um, being addressed and uh, we pray for all those who are in the midst of that struggle and those who are offering care. We do pray for thanksgiving for Table of Grace and for all that that will bring to us as well. Let's pray. God of grace and compassion, be present with us as we face an unknown future 
and as we walk paths untrodden. In the ever-changing and uncertain world where we find ourselves, help us to know and be assured that you are sovereign, you are all-knowing, all-powerful, and ever-present. We know you are a good God who holds us in our anxiety and distress and has a plan for our future. Calm our hearts and minds and give us hope in you, our only certain hope. And we pray this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. You're encouraged and invited to use the words and language that is comfortable for you. Let us pray. Our Father, Mother God, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Will the ushers please come forward? The story of God is not one of solo actors who save the day. It is one of community, of movements and relationships, deep and broad. Ours is a faith that depends on all of us stepping into the power that God has given us. In the spirit of this tradition, let us bring our uh, offerings to God. pray the prayer of dedication together. In your creation, God, we stand on the holiest of ground. May these gifts be a blessing to all that you have made. May needs be seen and met. May the giving fit the need. Through Christ who models infinite giving. Amen. The Holy One be with you. And also with you. Open your hearts to the One who is love. We open our hearts to you, O oh God. Let us give thanks to God who gathers us together. To the One who welcomes us to the table, we give thanks and praise. God, your invitation to come and feast in your presence 
is but a taste of the love you extend to us every day. By your very nature, you are always seeking us out, searching for ways to connect us and to connect with us. You meet us in the most ordinary of places, and you make them sacred. By your grace, we come to recognize the holiness that dwells in the world around us, in our neighbors, and in our own internal depths. Blessed are you, God, and blessed is your eternal table. You welcome all who thirst for justice and hunger to grow in love, and you ask us to extend the same welcome to all our neighbors. But God, since our beginning, we have struggled. And so in your love for us, you took on flesh in Jesus. Through his life, you pointed to your presence on the margins. You revealed the sacredness in all life. You showed us how to live together, even among forces of destruction. Believing it could transform the world, Jesus proclaimed this good news. He called for the captives to be set free. He spoke of the lowly being lifted up. He talked of redistributing redistributing wealth, and eradicating the causes of poverty. Amen. His commitment to practicing love knew no bounds, Amen. not even the bounds of death. Amen. And so on the night of his arrest, Jesus shared a meal with his companions. He took bread, he blessed it, and he broke it, and he shared it with his disciples, saying, do this, in remembrance of me. And after the meal, Jesus took the cup, he blessed it and shared it, and he said, do this in remembrance of me. Let's pray. Pour out your spirit on these gifts, God. Make these ordinary elements into the sacred gift of your presence with us once again. May they awaken us anew to your everlasting invitation into a life of resurrection. Aliven us in our pursuit of a world where all needs are met, power is balanced, and the worth of every creature and creation is celebrated. Amen. Will the communion servers please come forward? We ask that as you take your bread and your cup, take it back to your seat. Once everyone is served, we will share the elements together.
gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let's pray. God, by the bread of heaven and the cup of life, you make us one body. Bind us together by your spirit so that we might live into your hopes for us, a community centered in Christ and rich in compassion, commitment, courage, and care. May it be so. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. 